Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates, and I want to talk about property division in a divorce. You know, the general proposition is that we're going to look at the marital assets and we're going to divide them equitably. The question does come up every now and then, though, what if I don't trust my spouse to fully disclose the assets? When both parties are equally involved in the marital assets, homes, uh, businesses, income, it makes it easier. But when you had a marriage where one party's running the point on that and the other's got nothing to do with it, and now it's a divorce, and the question is, well, what do we have and what don't we have? Sometimes there can be trust issues and there can be suspicion that the other person isn't fully disclosing what they're supposed to. Well, I want to tell you a couple things in that regard. Number one, the court will impose a discovery phase on these divorce cases, a phase during which the attorneys will have the opportunity to determine what is really in the marital estate without relying on the word of anybody. They'll have the opportunity to take depositions, to send out interrogatories and requests to produce, requests to admit. They'll have opportunity to subpoena documents from third parties. So in doing it that way, you get a much more uh, clear view of the assets without having to solely rely on the testimony of the other party. So number one, I want to tell you, you do have that opportunity. The attorneys know how to utilize these tools so that the uh, discussion of the assets can be completely transparent. Number two, you have to realize that the law is that if one spouse deliberately dis fails to disclose a known asset so that they can get it in the divorce and hide it, if the court finds that out, the court has the discretion to reopen the case and make another allocation. And the allocation of that asset sometimes isn't always 50-50. The court has the discretion to give the lion's share, if not all of that asset, to the other party who you tried to hoodwink. So you got to be very careful in these situations. Your best bet is to speak to your lawyer, fully disclose the assets. He, in turn, will fully disclose them to the other law firm, and then the parties will go about making an appropriate and fair distribution of assets. If you have any questions regarding this, please reach out. Of course, we'll be glad to help you out. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and share.